Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. I'd like to finally welcome you all back to Oblivion. So, uh, but that's new. I'm aware that it's been quite a while. <laughs> uh, a whole bunch of stuff happened. I said that co uh, I said that I would come back to play more Oblivion after I was done with some other stuff because I wanted to take time off for October. But then I got COVID. So, yeah. Thank Akatosh you're here. I've decided to open a portal to Cameron's paradise. Okay. Oh, that's cool. What's the last thing? I should have seen it sooner. Mm -hmm. It's the counterpart to the Great Wilkinstone, just as the first two were the opposed powers of the Daedra and the Divines. Wilkinstones contain the concentrated power of Mundus. Their counterparts are Sigil Stones. I have some Sigil Stones. Oblivion Gates. A great Sigil Stone, then, is what we require. Uh -huh. You're not going to like it. Joffrey doesn't like it. The Countess of Bruma certainly isn't going to like it. Great sigil stones are the anchors of great gates. The kind of gate the mythic dawn opened at Kavaj. Okay. The kind of gate the mythic dawn wants to open here to destroy Bruma. So we have to let them do it. I said you weren't going to like it. Meh. The risk is great, I know. I was at Kavach. I saw the terrible power of the Daedric siege engine. But we have no I like, choice. I don't like how his eyes are darting around. The only way to recover the Amulet of Kings is to allow the Mythic Dawn to proceed with their plan to attack Bruma. Mm-hmm. You'll be safe. No. I'll lead the defense of Bruma Yeah, somehow myself. I didn't think that you were if going to remain to in here. It's time I started acting like one. Hey, did you put on the armor? I'll lead it. Remember when we first met in Kavach? I still don't know if there is a divine plan, but I've come to realize that it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. What matters is that we act, that we do what's right when confronted with evil. That's what you did at Kavach. It wasn't the gods that saved us, it was you. Good. Were yeah. you acting for the gods? I don't know. But now, it's my turn to act. All my gods are dead or like... Retired, so whatever. Please, I'm in characters friend. at Dunmer. I need your judgment, not your obedience. I explain myself to you so you understand me, and so you can explain to the Countess. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid she may take a bit more convincing than you. I'll inform her at Good. once. Have her meet me in the Chapel of Tal. Okay. Sorry. I, I'm so back and forth on... um skipping dialogue in this game because like on the one hand when i was playing morrowind i read everything besides a scant few lines and so when i was listening to those things i was like yeah all right <clears throat> shortcut um ah. yeah when i was doing uh, uh morrowind i read almost everything anyway and you know i would let other people say their lines if they had lines to say, but so few was that that it almost never came up. But the thing is, is that almost everyone, I imagine, must be mashing through this dialogue because almost everyone has played Oblivion, right? But because I've missed Oblivion, I do want to hear it for the first time. But on the other hand, like, I almost, this sounds bad, but I almost don't care. Um... Oh, hey, guys. Uh, I almost don't care. Because, like... I can I can read it, and I'm actually perfectly fine to read it. This is something that, like, in a lot of LPs, like, um, I'm thinking of the way that, like... Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. The way that, like, uh, Wooly Versus over on that channel will usually do things is they'll ensure that they will get as many voice lines in the, as they can. Because that's content. And if a voice actor is the one saying it, then they'll get that content as well. Um, you know, they'll all go out of their way to do that. And that's ordinarily how I would handle things here, but... On the other hand, I am content to read it and, like... I'm going back and forth on, like, should this be my... Oh, cool. Should this be my playthrough as I would do it? Should this be just, like... Well, am I way faster? 
Did I have something up with my speed? Or do I get a blessing of speed? Because I thought it just cured my sicknesses. Hi. Uh, should we wait? Should we... We gotta get these things fixed, huh? Here they are. Tell the Countess of Bruma. Well, it has to be business hours for her to be up, so I guess I'll wait the... 12 hours. Also, I should probably get my stuff fixed. I'm wearing this nice turtleneck. My wife bought it for me. Uh, I really dig it. It is pretty cold. It actually isn't that late. I've commented on the fact that I'm like, oh, I'm recording in the middle of the night now, but it's actually, uh, <laughs> it was 5 p.m. when I sat down. <laughs> like, you know, it's it's not super, like, I don't live super north, but, God. I'm only asking for a single coin. I'm so... Thank you, Your name is Fetid? Blessings of Juliana, I probably already commented on that, but, like, God damn, dude. I've never known somebody to be cold and smelly, you know? If somebody is smelly, then it's usually because they live in a hot area. That sounds right. Hello, I need my things fixed. Well met. I can repair all. I don't have the gold, huh? Certainly. Ah, uh, let's do business. Wow. Um. I could just hawk this then. Well, that seems a fair price. Yeah. Wow. I haven't been. Um. Thank you for. I, I haven't been keeping up with all my selling break. and buying and selling stuff. Goodness. I guess I don't really need it, but... Okay, and then... We need the Countess of Bruma. She is where? <clears throat> Have pity on an... Okay. So yeah, I absolutely, of course, meant to, like, come back and record everything, like, as I wanted to. Oh, Castle Bruma. Is that it? Um, but when I got COVID, I had to, you know, just take a week to just be exhausted. A little more, in fact. Uh, and I could hardly do anything. My wife had it too, so like, you know, we had to help each other. Please, by all means. And that was nice. Where is this taking me? Should tell the countess. Well met, my lord. It, greetings. A desperate plan indeed. This prince? Emperor? Martin would risk my whole city to gain a great sigil stone? This is the only way to stop this invasion from oblivion? Uh -huh. I must confess, you are the first person to speak of victory against these Daedra. This war seemed hopeless to me. But what else was there to do but hold on and wait for a hero to arise to save us? I hate her tea. I don't and know now what's up with that. it seems them. there is an heir to the throne after all. Are those JPEG? Did Cloud rule a temple? Yeah. And perhaps a hero as well? You avoid answering my question. Very well. Don't think I doubt you. The rulers of Bruma have long had dealings with Cloud Ruler Temple. We know whom they serve. I will meet Martin at the chapel. When all is ready... I will order my men to stop closing the gates and prepare for battle. All right. When I'm ready, inform the Countess. Come with me to the... Ch ah. We gotta get there. Hi. 
Don't sound too excited there, bud. The Countess has received... <laughs> but yeah, I missed like three uploads. That's so not like me. I missed one of uh, Castlevania. Uh, and that was annoying. Part of, part of the reason that it happened like it did was because like... I had set up and recorded a bunch of uh, uh, stuff beforehand and then cut that into episodes. And so I wasn't actually going back in and recording stuff. Often I do record in bursts. But when I edit stuff, for one reason or another, edited content is uh, usually shorter than stuff that I... <laughs> edited content is typically shorter than the stuff that I uh, actually just sit down and record. Because if I sit down and I say, okay, I'm just going to go until... Ha! blank then I usually make a longer episode that's why Oblivion is typically like 40 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes seems her boyfriend Joranda has stolen some gold from her that's why Castlevania was um 40 minutes that's why Valkyria Chronicles was also you know 40 45 minutes just because it would make more sense for me to do it like that but when I record uh, and then I chop it into little pieces myself, I have a much quicker. It just. It's not as long. Your Highness, I am Narina Corvain, Countess of Bruma, at your service. There is no need for any formality at this time. I am not Emperor yet, and I am quite new to this notion of being heir to the throne. Thank you for coming. Why are you so tired, Sean Bean? I mean, or not tired, I quiet. No, I am asking for a great deal of trust. But this is the only way. I would not suggest it otherwise. Your champion has already explained the situation to me. I have agreed to it. We will not win this war through caution. You have a rare gift to know when desperation is the path of wisdom. I will do everything in my power to defend your city, my lady. If Bruma falls, the Empire falls with us. So be it. You are a diplomat as well as a warrior, it seems. Okay. I would... Let it begin. So be it. I already did a bunch of these things, and I'm like, Deploy the Ugh. The You know, like, they're just so repetitive. Just go here, talk to the guy, say, Oh, I could help you, but there's that gate on the front steps. You know, go get the gate. Go battle through another Mordor, you know, another big red devil. You know. Martin, Martin, Martin. Cool. You know, all of them show up. Sometimes they have unique twists, but like, I've already seen things that I feel like are twists. Like when that guy's son is there and you can try to save him or you can just bring his ring back and that's cool. Four over here, two over here, that's six. Three over here, that's nine. So nine people showed up, showed up to cheer us on. This is always a problem of like Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls insists on running their game in a specific way where it's like, yes, you can simulate the whole world and that plays hell on processors. Oh yeah, one guy from every... Oh. Shaden Hall. Two Troll. Ulrich Leland. I don't even know if I remember you. And the Skingrad soldier. An individual skin... I guess more would show up over here if I had them. There was only one guy that way. Yeah, Bethesda insists on running their games in such a way where it's like, all right, I've talked about this, I'm sure. But the, it, the problem is it was months ago. You know, I, I've referred to this LP, Valkyria Chronicles, and Castlevania as my problem children. Because all of them oh, happened in the middle of my breaks. Uh, like, they were all pretty long LPs. Decently long. I could have finished them at a good clip. Protect Martin until the Great Gate opens. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, the Empire will stand or fall by what we do here today. Will we let the Daedra do to Bruma what they did to Kavach? 
We let them burn our homes. We will let them kill our families. But yeah, it would just make it so no, that like it was very, very difficult here. because they were all Today, so. For the whole of I like how I only sometimes get subtitles. We must hold fast until the hero of Kavanch can destroy their great gate. We must kill whatever comes out of that gate. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, do you stand with me? Ooh, that was interesting. It kind of sounded like it was supposed to. Yeah, I guess I haven't done like a huge haul of like making a whole bunch of potions. Here comes another one. With all the ingredients that I picked up. Even though I have the ingredients, I just haven't sat down and made like a million potions. And then sold all of those uh, potions. The second Oblivion Gate is open. I talk about. I was talking about my problem children. So yeah, it just it it means that all of them like took a really really long time to record. And like even though the LPs were pretty fun and it, I feel like it was a pretty good experience altogether. <laughs> well, then I good. Um it was a, it was just a thing where like we have these issues of, of, like, I need to go on break. I had to go on break a second time. Oh, that guy took it. Um, okay, well, now I'm going on, you know, this, like, half break, and I'm, I'm really not recording a bunch of videos at all. It just meant that a lot of stuff got caught up in the slip, you know? Is that just stuff I picked up, or... Yep, it was. How about that? Ow! <laughs> Boy, I'm ah, in it, huh? Ah, ah. Let's get this over. Ah. I think I have one of these. A healing, yeah. Okay, now we can maneuver. Leland is unconscious. Boy, I'm gonna have to start killing these guys, huh? The great gate has opened. Our guys gonna keep coming out of this, like, no matter what, because if, if that's the case, that's gonna be an issue. There we go. Oh man, the army. This is probably one of those things where like it would have been great if I had like a million points in magic. Uh, we got one of those, right? Yep. <laughs> so many effects on me. Hiding them kind of works, though. Boy, that guy's getting it pretty hard. Yeah, this is one of those things that, like, Bethesda just 
insists on doing, and it, and it almost hurt it. I won't say it ruins it, but it does hurt the game, I think. Oh. The way that they're, like, insistent on, like, bringing in all these NPCs. I do want to kill them all. I'm sorry, Toxic Trade I know. Oh man. Oops, sorry. Ulrich. But yeah, I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who like console or not even YouTubers, just like anyone who is constantly not making Oh, they are infinitely spying. Who is like constantly making excuses. Like this this was a thing of like, you know, back when everyone had a blog. I don't know if anyone can remember those days. Ooh, the Great Gate. The Daedric Siege Engine is crawling towards the portal. If it exits the gate before I reach the Sigil Stone, all is lost. Whoa, that's pretty intense. <laughs> I don't know when I picked those up. I don't know why arrows are so heavy. I guess it makes sense. So can I like sprint across this lava and get there quicker? World Breaker Guard. Boy, is that a name for an area. <clears throat> Whoa. I'm sure there's a fun dungeon in there, but this is how I would do it. My inborn fire resistance, you know? 13. Oh, they give you a countdown. That's actually pretty rad. Okay. It looks like we don't have the chance to dungeon bypass here, which is unfortunate, but... Oh, that thing is closing in. <clears throat> yeah, I imagine, like, just... Oh. Being a Dunmer and then stacking yourself up with fire with lava resistance really would let you just sprint through lava. I don't know to what end exactly. I don't really think that takes you anywhere. Okay, is this gonna like drop me on it? Twelve minutes. Ooh. So a Skyrim minute is... I say Skyrim because that's when I... Actually, no, I first observed this phenomenon in Fallout 3. Really. <laughs> but a Skyrim minute is... Three seconds. So one second multiplies out to three. So is that like 12 regular minutes or is that like, yeah, is that like 12 of my minutes or 12 of Oblivion minutes? You're gonna lighten me up. Huh. I don't think these are real minutes actually. Should I be dropping onto this? Is this gonna be like a Halo 2 Scarab? This is a pretty far fall. Ah. <clears throat> ah. 
Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Let's just go into here. Oh, should I be going there? Because if, if I if I am and I've been screwing around with this, then <sighs> rut row. Well, I see enemies. Oh, and there's the big set piece over there of the of the thing. Actually, I might want to cut the episode here. I know that I'm sure that, I'm sure that this was very exciting to watch me just swing my ass at some guys. But hey, I'm getting back into it. I hope that's all right. The sigil stone? Break. Okay, last chance. Uh. Oh. It gives ha. me the option to interact with. Uh. Ha. Ha. Well, I'll be right back. <laughs> I both have to figure out what I'm doing and I don't want to just bang my head against this on camera. Uh, but I hope that that was acceptable. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Oblivion. I hope you have a good time. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.